multi-million dollar transportation investment announced today for Flint and Detroit. And it could have a major impact on whether buses run on time. 7 News reporter Brian Abel is at Detroit Metro Airport with the details. The Detroit part of this investment, $8.5 million roughly, and really it's uh, out with the old, in with the new. These fare readers, back in 2007 is when they were purchased, they are going to get replaced and modernized. We estimate that nearly 40% of the nation's bus fleets are in need of investment. The nation's top transit official, Federal Transit Administrator Jane Williams, at Detroit Metro Airport today announcing more than $12 million in bus investments in both Detroit and Flint. In our one on one, Williams said the investment was granted because it checks off Transportation Secretary Chow's three priorities of infrastructure, innovation, and safety. We also know that buses are the workhorse of the transit industry, and they are what carry most people to jobs, to their education, uh, to health care appointments, so they're in incredibly critical. Flint's MTA will receive $4.3 million to replace their diesel buses. For Detroit, the $8.5 million will be spent on DDOT's roughly 300 fare readers, allowing the 85,000 daily riders to be cashless if they want, use tap and go, and pay with their phone, removing many barriers that Lieutenant Governor Gilchrist has seen firsthand. Yeah, you had to have quarters, you had to have exact change. Uh, there was no change. A lot of people lose fare cards. And especially when I was teaching my young children how to ride the bus, uh, it was kind of difficult to have them keep up with a fare card. So uh, this kind of uh, modernization is really critically important. Sometimes if you have a line and if people are stumbling for cash and don't have a pass or a ticket, it will hold up that bus to be in on time. So absolutely, it will allow us to board our customers quicker and reduce any issues and concerns with on-time performance. And there's no timetable on when this will all happen, but we are told there will be no service interruption. For 7 Action News, I'm Brian Abel. All right, Brian, thank you.